Redmi Note 7 Pro is one of the much hyped smartphone from Xiaomi which comes with a Snapdragon 675 and an all pink 48 megapixel camera which can take a stunning photos. It has a beautiful glass back design with a teardrop notch present to the front. But when it comes to software, it runs a heavily bloated MIUI. So MIUI is good for some people but trust me, there are a lot of dudes out there want to try out a Pixel Experience ROM on their Redmi Note 7 Pro. Hey there, my name is KS Carroyo and this is a complete overview of Pixel Experience ROM CAF Edition running on Redmi Note 7 Pro. So let's get started. For those who don't know anything about a Pixel Experience ROM, well, it is one of the most popular aftermarket firmware available for a lot of Android smartphones, uh, which aims to provide a Google Pixel experience for your uh, smartphone. I mean, seriously, if you are not able to afford a Google Pixel smartphone, then buy a phone with a good processor and install a ROM on it to transform your phone into a Google Pixel device. Now let me quickly jump onto the about system and show you the version I'm running. So as you can see, it's Android 9 by no Pi. So as usual, I'm going to talk about features, performance and battery life. That being said, uh, let's talk about features. By default, you will get a Pixel 3 launcher, which is absolutely super fast. From app launching to everything, it's snappy. And I personally am very much fancied about the app transitions, which are super refined in Android Pie. So just look at this cool animation, which you would get while launching these applications. When it comes to advanced features, this is where a Pixel ROM flunks a little bit. I mean, if you compare it with the Resurrection Remix, the Havoc OS, it is sort of murky. Also, this ROM is a preloaded with a live wallpapers uh, which uh, some of them make your phone super buggy and of course a dark theme is also available inside settings on your display uh, which works throughout the system without any issues now when it comes to camera this rom is a preloader with a stock camera which of course will work fine and trust me it is not a google camera so i tried to uh, sideload a google camera for a redmi note 7 pro but it is not working as intended so the redmi note 7 pro supports a level 3 hardware to work with a camera to API based applications but as of now the Google camera is glitchy and it's unable to capture a pictures uh, when it comes to basic features like Wi-Fi Bluetooth LTE LTE dual LTE a Wi-Fi hotspot a fingerprints face unlock does work fine without any issues I tried a Google pay a phone pay I mean the UPI based applications and it is not working as of now I did also run a safety net check and you can see it's actually failed the test. So overall, I would say when it comes to features, a Pixel ROM for the Note 7 Pro provides a minimalistic Android Pie experience and it's super fast. So that being said, let's talk about performance. Undoubtedly, this ROM is amazing and it provides a smoother experience throughout the system. So thanks to the developer, so this build is much optimized to get most out of the silicon. From app launching to routine task, everything is super fast. I mean, if you're looking for a phenomenal, smooth and pure Android experience, then definitely this ROM stand out of your expectations. When it comes to big games like PUBG, The Ass Fallen Legends, you will definitely love the performance. I have played a PUBG at high settings and it's good enough to handle the game without any hiccups and there may be some lag or stutter you may face or encounter especially while riding a bike or a car during the gameplay. So this is a minor issue and not a big deal. As usual, I ran a benchmarking app like Geekbench and Intuit to, uh, to find out the uh, performance of the phone and these are the scores which I got on my Note 7 Pro. Finally, at last, the battery life. Well, the battery life is amazing. My screen on time usage, which I get on daily basis around is like seven plus hours with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, location services turned on. And I usually watch YouTube videos a lot. And for a fair and minimal usage, this ROM helps to survive the whole day without any issues. And of course, a this ROM supports a fast charging also. So the bottom line of the video, this ROM is super stable and very much optimized to the hardware to get a most out of the silicon. 
working. Obviously, you can use it as your daily driver without worrying anything, except the fact that UPI based applications won't work fine as of now. So if in case I have missed anything in this video, you can ask me in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button down there. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. This is your boy KSKRL. Peace.